Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing our WWE Week in Review. Yeah. So wrestling happened. They were in London. Yes, they were. That's, we got That's the most exciting thing. Yeah, we got a taped episode of Raw and SmackDown. Yep. And uh, that's, yeah, that's it. Well, you knew nothing was going to happen because there was no major spoilers, really, that came it's out. It's true, during yeah. The, during the, I guess, the show. No. Or, I guess, when I mean, the show The happened. only thing, it wasn't really a spoiler because we wouldn't have seen it anyway, but I think uh, Jeff Hardy got hurt in a dark match on SmackDown. <sighs> Don't know Better if he not actually have did, but that was the rumor going around. Better not have happened. But yeah, no, no, the uh, spoilers were kept pretty under wraps for the most part. Yeah, well, nothing also happened. So that has it's all true. To I mean, we had it. advancement in the Money in the Bank yeah, but qualifying that, that matches. Really but matter. I mean, that was really all that was going to be spoiled throughout any show. Well, yeah, but like the last time they were there, like, oh, we had know, title changes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, no, I meant that the show nothing really happened that was worth spoiling yeah, no, anyway. I don't think there was anything involving titles on either show nope. as it was nope um so but yeah and uh i mean money in the bank is almost full already we yeah have... the men i think need one yeah and the women need three right mm, four. maybe it's it might be four. two on raw and two on smackdown or maybe have qualified yeah so i think it's, it's four. probably four but i meant the card as a whole Oh, oh, Because oh. we have, I think, five matches so far. Yeah, well, there's going to be the two, the, at least, Money in the Banks. Yep, the Shinsuke women's. Shinsuke and um, <clears throat> whatever. Shinsuke and, and AJ. Um, AJ. And then the two women's title matches. Yeah. but um, I would imagine the Bludgeon Brothers have to defend those titles then, right? I guess. I mean, they're just calling out. What are we just going to have a... If, if they don't do the tag team Money in the Bank match, it's just going to be like a... They really shouldn't so dumb it's I, I don't see how they're gonna play this out in a positive way no because it's just gonna be because it's gonna be oh yeah we don't have that many teams but we're gonna put all of them except for the champions in the match yeah which technically when you think about it makes sense well i mean but, we talked about it and they would have to do two teams from each show to have eight people like they're yeah, doing in the it other would just it'd just be crazy yeah too much too much yeah you would need lower carded Unless, oh man, unless that's how they do the B team storyline. What they have them ca- get the money in the bank briefcase? I guess that would make that sense. That would be an option. But at the same time, the tag titles have never been looked at as like world titles. That's true. So that kind of has something to do with it too. That's fair. It there is- isn't any lower title. It's yeah. just the tag titles, and that's it. Well, it's just like the women's division. Yeah. I mean, you know. Oh, you meant there's no better. Title yeah, yeah, right, right. 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 It's the top mean. title. Yeah um anyway mm-hmm. with uh well let's get into the show let's talk about raw <laughs> so Roman we, comes we don't in. need to run down the whole show because no. there was only so much that yeah. really happened not, not a whole lot no 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 um so Roman comes out calls out gender he does um axel says he's not coming out axel angle yeah this is what, <laughs> you, you messed me up with the b team stuff Kurt well angle comes first out. roman said he called out gender and said if you want me to make you relevant again you'll you'll come out or uh, relevant for i was the first gonna say time. I, I might have missed that yeah. part, but but yeah, he says that and um but yeah then angle comes out mm-hmm. and uh he says that he was wrong for denying gender the uh the shot at the money in the bank match and rome's like good he's got since he's got a match put me in it. i want to be in it yeah. too and uh and then he goes, management told me that I'm not allowed to give you any more opportunities yep. to Roman. Yep, yep. And which I guess they're going yeah. with this, like... Yeah, because yeah, the first thing he said was that I got screwed again last week, but not by WWE management this yeah. time. I don't, yeah, I don't was... quite get what they're going for here. They are going for the Daniel Bryan storyline. But they're doing it. Well, they shouldn't be doing it at all. They're turning they're... gender face. What, you think this is... Oh, I guess you just mean inadvertently. In this, situation? this is that's the way it seems like it's going. Yeah, well, because you, we'll, not th- intentionally. No, it's no, just, no, yeah, it's happening. Yeah, throughout the events that transpired in during Raw, mm-hmm. it seemed like Roman was taking that heel form and Jinder was taking the face form. Kind of. Not that Jinder really did anything. It was more of just him no. being there. All right. Well, we'll get into. It. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk. About it. So. Um, but yeah, yeah, Roman's not getting more opportunities. Mm-hmm. So then Roman says he's going to take matters into his own hands. Mm-hmm. Goes to the back, finds Jinder, beats him up. They make their way out, back out 
onto the stage. Then Kurt Angle and all his boys in the back break it up. And that was our opening. Yep. So, um, yeah. yeah. And uh, London does not like Roman Reigns. No, no, no. They, they booed him thoroughly. <laughs> I think Corey Graves said something like, uh, oh, that's a typical London or typical... Um, Ch- uh, yeah, I don't reaction for Roman in London yeah, or something like yeah, that. He, yeah, he said something like that. Yeah, and he's like, no, that's the typical reaction everywhere. Yeah, it's true. Like, ugh, it's just, it's just so dumb. Yeah, it's just really so dumb. This I, could be so easily avoided. They I, could have just done a simple thing. Yeah, well, I, I think the reason why they said it like that was because it was so loud and mm-hmm. obvious. I, I feel like this was just a giant bet that went wrong. Like Vince, like said that he no matter what he will con- continue to push roman as a baby face uh, or as the face of the company and somebody else like no you can't do it and vince is just trying his damnest, uh, okay. trying everything throwing whatever at the wall to i see guess if that, it'll stick. that makes sense i would be tremendously surprised yeah um anyway. because, like, it, this is the only thing like like i've never seen another person that really they didn't decide all right maybe we should change the direction that we're going brock lesnar I guess. It's true. It's happening right now. I guess it's, it's true. It's literally happening as we speak. That's true, it's because actually, nobody wants him it's there. It's worse and... than what they're doing with Roman. I, I guess that's true. At least with Roman, there's like actual parts where he has weakness. Mm-hmm. Whereas with Brock, he's not wanted, needed, or, you know, like... Yeah, because he, there's no... I don't think there's any numbers that say he's an actual draw. Probably not. I don't think much changes from... You know. Yeah, well, because everything's based off of the network now anyway. That's true. So yeah. it really doesn't make a difference. Mm-hmm. So he's literally just throwing money away by keeping him around. Whatever. Whatever. Not not my money, so I'm not, true. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah. Um, so up next, we had a pretty good match, actually. Yes. Uh, Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens for the Intercontinental Championship. Mm-hmm. I guess this was answered on face, uh, not Facebook, uh, Twitter. Twitter or something like that. I guess uh, Seth put out an open challenge on social media and Owens answered. Yeah, I knew that happened. I just didn't know the platform, but mm-hmm. that's probably what yeah, happened. Yeah, most likely. So this is a really good match, actually. Of course. Um, yeah, like you said, not surprising. <laughs> no, Seth uh, Rollins is the best thing about Monday Night Raw. His matches have pretty much been the best part of Monday Night Raw. Granted, and they've all been against mostly good people, yeah. so that doesn't hurt. Do you think this they're going to end up having Jason Jordan come back and challenge him for the IC title? It could happen, that would but I kind don't. of come full. You know, they were. I, I don't see that being a long or a feud option. No, it could be. Yeah, I just I think. Any any kind of momentum they had when he got hurt is gone. Gone, yeah. So if he came back, he'll be like, oh, man, I'm happy to be back. It's going to be interesting when he comes back because they have a couple of ways they can do things with him. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he's better off feuding with Gable, Gable if anything. Because yeah. Rollins is just... It, it, the seed wasn't set just yet. Right, I, I guess that's they true. they don't want to have them team together again. Mm-hmm. Or oh, you mean Gable and Jason nope. Jordan? Oh, you mean Rollins Seth. and, and yeah, Jason team. Jordan? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there was, there was, like, hints, but nothing, for, like, straight gotcha. straightforward. So it wouldn't make any sense for him to go after him right away, and it also wouldn't make any sense to have him pair with him because you don't need no, the inter- no. Intercontinental Champion to have Mm-mm. someone no, like no, that. No, 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 no. <sighs> so, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, the finish was uh, Seth was setting up for a superplex. Mm-hmm. Owens countered it, hit the fisherman buster. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Off, off the off the top rope. Mm-hmm. Rollins hits the mat, rolls right out. It Owens throws instinct. him throws him back in. Seth gets up as roll as uh, Owens is coming in, hits him with the stomp, and Seth retains his title. It was a really good transition. transition into absolutely. The end. Um, and uh, yeah, good to see Owens. Good stuff. Well, working double duty. Mm-hmm. Technically triple duty. They had a dark match, too. Oh, he did? Yeah, I, I don't know exactly what the match is. But, but I know it was after he, the show? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So probably I think some I, kind of tag match. Probably. Uh, maybe one of those 10-man tags or some nonsense. Maybe. Well, you never know. With the people who are in the main event, you could have Braun come out. You could have That's have true. Even Roman and All Jinder, right. possibly. So, this was interesting. Um, I guess. It was, it was weird. awkward, yeah. So I guess they were in New York, right? Yeah, there was some kind of uh, NBC 
Yeah, it was something event like that. Yeah. where they were like, uh, I guess, promoting upcoming shows. Mm-hmm. And uh, who was it? Kathy Kelly, right? That was she was there. The, she was she interviewed Ronda. Yeah. About you know WrestleMania and her being in the women's division and all that nonsense. Mm-hmm. And then Charlotte came up and Ronda and Charlotte were talking, and all of a sudden Nia Jax or what? What did they say? Uh, they went back and forth wooing, right? Well, yeah, because I, I think Charlotte just said that she can, and then Ronda tried. Right, right, right. And, and that's when Nia Jax walked up, and she's like, "Well, can you do this?" And they were like, "What are you talking about?" And she's holding out the belt. She's like, "Be woman's champion." Yeah. She's like, "Uh, well, I just got here." Yeah. And it, then, it was funny because she acted all like confused. Yeah. Like I can't possibly be considered for a championship. I, mean, I yeah, just got I just, here. I just wrestled one my first match, yeah. but she actually wrestled her second match yesterday or today what she did a house show yeah really yeah over um she was in liverpool i believe oh it was okay. a six woman tag interesting yeah she i honestly good. didn't she think good in i it. didn't think she was gonna be going over there no um but yeah i guess naya said that she wanted to challenge ronda <laughs> yeah <laughs> and with She's her like, title on the I line didn't, i didn't earn yeah. it she was like, I don't care. I want to face yeah, you. I want to face the best or whatever yeah. she said. So so the, we are getting that at Money in the Bank. And yeah. then they all like walked together and were well, huddled. You know, well, just... it was just like it, there was, you know, half kayfabe. And it was just we, it was just weird the way it was. I don't know. Because it, it, it seemed like friendly competition, which is going to turn into not so friendly right, competition, obviously. which is fine. Yeah. Um, but the platform in which it happened is probably the part that's strange about it. Yeah. But at the same time, you try to cause a little buzz by having oh, yeah, have yeah. it having it happen at something that is unrelated to wrestling, technically. Absolutely. So yeah, it's not. It's, it wasn't a bad thing. No, no, just odd. Th- that was it. That yeah. was really all, and that's what we took away from it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Let's see, Dallas and Axel uh, have decided that they're no longer going to be the Miz Taraj. Nope. They're going to be the A team. Yep. Uh, Kurt Angle's like you. You can't. You can't, can't do that. that. <laughs> it's like it's already a show. It's like, um, how about this? We'll be the B team. Angle goes, it's a terrible name. It's like, well, we're the best team. <laughs> yeah, because Curtis was starting to agree with Angle. He's like, oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, and then that's that doesn't sound right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, they ask for a title match, mm-hmm. and I would. Uh, Kurt says no, but I'll give you somebody. And then okay. That, yeah. yeah, and then they get a match later on in the evening. Mm-hmm. And then we had uh, our first qualifier for the night for Money in the Bank, Bank men's match, and yes. that was No Way Jose versus Baron Corbin versus Bobby Roode. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. There was no way that uh, Jose or Corbin were going to win this match. Pretty much. Because, like, well, it has to be Roode, A, right? well, none... <laughs> None of these guys have any momentum nope. right now anyway. Nope. And Bobby Roode is going to be your highest guy on the card. Mm-hmm. So True. he was the only logical one to win. Yeah. Um, I mean, no way Jose got a decent amount of offense in throughout the match. Yeah, but, but it's like the only thing he's really done. It's true. I think Corbin got thrown out of the ring, and then Bobby Roode hit no way Jose with the glorious CDT. And yep. Bobby Roode is now in the uh, Money in the Bank match. Because yeah, I think Jose was going to do something to Corbin, and that's when... Corbin got thrown out of the yes. ring. So, mm-hmm. all right. So we got a, a backstage segment with Owens coming over, threatens threatens Angle yeah, by saying he's going to call Stephanie. Right, because he won another Intercontinental Title shot because he was so close to winning. Yeah. Um, and then Angle heads into the trainer's room where Ginger's being attended to, and I think whatever Singh brother Sunil, Sunil, yeah. Sunil, Sunil yeah, sure. Um, um, he asked Angle to postpone the match, and Kurt said nope match is gonna happen yeah because this fun. is the last night you can qualify for money in the bank apparently mm. despite the fact that Man. women's match isn't full yet it's true um, and we still have one more men's yep next week uh well he did say raw oh raw can, okay can fair enough because i enough. think the last spot is a smackdown yeah, spot it is. Hmm? so oh yeah, yeah, yeah you didn't know that they what? announced a match for next week or did you on I, smackdown I, yeah it's smoke oh yeah, yeah, yeah that, oh, okay. that i did oh, see. Okay. that i did i see. gotcha I just forgot. I Because right? Samoa Joe did that promo mm-hmm. and whatever. Anyway, um, Angle says no, like we said. Um, so Jinder has to go into the match mm-hmm. a little a little under the weather. A little banged up. Um, all right. So we have that tag match we alluded to earlier. Mm-hmm. We got the B team versus Brizango. Yeah. 
Uh, the B team actually won, and mm-hmm. they're currently undefeated in their current form. Yes, and they're coming after those tag titles. Yep. Um, brotherly love and whatnot. I mean, there's so many lower card tag teams on Raw that they could make a run, you know? Uh, on top of, like, other people, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, while Bray and Matt are kind Nobody of like needs the... to be protected. Yeah. And the well, authors yeah. of Pain are busy wrestling on main events, yeah, so they don't matter. Apparently. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty funny that you said that. Yeah. Um, because apparently authors of Pain, like you said, wrestling on main event, and Breezango and the B-team <laughs> were on the main show. I'm sure they wrestled the Ascension. <laughs> I, probably. Um but no, if they do the tag team money in the bank, that would definitely be a good way to yeah. utilize the, the B team. Mm-hmm. I, I think they should do lower card teams, honestly. Well, and then have, there, yeah, but there's then, only lower card teams anyway. Uh, on Raw, anyway. I mean, yeah. you kind of have a couple teams in limbo on SmackDown. Well, the Bar um, and the New Day are feuding each other over pancakes. so That's true. And, and the, the Usos, Usos haven't, haven't been... There. Good thing um, Naomi won that uh, money. Now we know why they gave her the win. It's funny. I thought that they were going to pick Naomi to, to face, face Carmella, right? Yeah, I, thought, I what, thought the same thing, yeah. too. But nope. Nope. Um, all right. So up next we have a the... standard six-woman tag. Actually, it wasn't that bad. It was pretty good. Oh, Decent yeah, yeah, yeah. Match. Was, yeah, I thought it was pretty yeah, good, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, there was a lot of, like, sensical stuff going mm-hmm. on. Yeah, it so... wasn't, like, stupid nonsense trying to, like, no. force spots or anything. This was Sasha, Natalia, and Ember versus the Riot Squad. Um, Apparently, uh, Natalia's a face now. No, I think with the whole Ronda stuff, she just came to Raw and she was automatically Yeah, I know. It's just, oh, it's yeah. just, it was funny. Because there was no, She doesn't like, have her clear... welcoming committee buddies. Yeah. It's just there was no clear, like, mm-hmm. I guess, thing with it. Yeah, that's um, true. But yeah, Natalia actually picks up the win yeah. by getting Liv Morgan to tap mm-hmm. after the sharpshooter. Yep. Yeah, they um, worked. Uh, the Riot Squad worked pretty good as a team throughout the match, and then all six women got involved, and all hell broke loose. And yep. That was when the submission happened. Yep. 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 So, yep. but yeah, it wasn't bad. No. Uh, so, up next, I like Mick Ziggles. <laughs> <laughs> we had Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler doing a phone promo. Uh, basically kind of calling out Braun and Finn Balor for being soft. Because I think they announced earlier in the night that there was going to be a tag match yes. between the two mm-hmm. two teams. Yep. Um, but yeah, I thought Mick Ziggles was good. I like that. Yeah, That's pretty good. <laughs> and then uh, we had uh, the current tag champions, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt versus The Revival. Mm-hmm. And uh, surprise, surprise. The Revival the... lost? <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, I think it was. I think it was Scott Dawson got hit with. Yeah. Uh, what the hell? I, I it's got they, a name now. I think they called it the the Eater of the, the, the Leader the, of Worlds. The Leader of Worlds. But I thought that's what they're. No, no, no. no it's the Kiss of something. No, I don't. I don't think that's what it was. Though. Are you sure? Yeah, because I was thinking it was going to be called. Something it was like the that. Kiss of the something. Maybe Deletion it was the collect. Yeah, maybe that's it. It was something like it, that. It's funny because I was going to write down what it was called, but. The, they went into the next segment like right, immediately, right away. so yeah. I wanted to catch up on that, and then mm-hmm. I forgot what it was called. Um, but they had, uh, next was Bailey walking down the hall. Mm-hmm. She runs in Sasha. Sasha wishes her good luck because she has a, a qualifying match yep. later on. Nothing happened. That was yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, so maybe they're backpedaling. Uh, you know. Whatever. Just brewing. Um, so this, this is when I fell asleep. This is stupid. Um, <laughs> next so, week is going to be awful, though. Oh, yeah. I can only imagine yeah. what they're planning on. Um, so if you remember le- uh, last week or a couple weeks ago, Bobby Lashley did last a week. little interview about and something about his sisters, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Sami Zayn comes out this week, says that he contacted Bobby Lashley's sisters. On Facebook, right? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what he said. And they say that Bobby Lashley isn't who he says he is or mm-hmm. something like that. And next <laughs> next week, his sisters will be on Raw to tell the truth about Bobby Lashley. Oh, my God. Um, so, uh, yeah. It's going to be a, a spectacle. Yeah, it's not going to be good. It's the Ball family all over again. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's... Well, yeah, they got a chant going, what, uh, Lashley sisters, right, in the yes, main event? Yes, yes, <laughs> it's true. Uh, yeah, not good. Um, no, next. you bring in Lashley, and it's just, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Oh, yeah, they really screwed themselves. They, this is proof they wanted to have him face Lesnar. Yeah, and, and then they decide against it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. clearly... We they put would... all our eggs in one basket with this, and then, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, clearly they Ooh. had no, in, no intention on doing anything <laughs> else. They had no backup plan. Nope. So, well, whatever. 
Uh, up next, we have the triple threat uh, qualifying match for the, I guess, women's second last or second to last spot on Raw. No, we have the women's one. That's what I said. Oh. Uh, for the women. Uh, I don't know. I think I think they had this. There's only two. Ember. Ember and Alexa are. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, this was the, the, second, the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, yeah, it was Alexa versus Mickey versus Bailey. Um, uh, yeah, of course, typical two heels versus one face. The two heels obviously both want to win the match. Mm-hmm. So, but Alexa, at the same time, they teamed together. Yeah, for points. the first portion of the match, and then it was the same thing on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. I, when I was watching SmackDown, I'm like, do they think people don't watch both they shows? They like to insult our intelligence because it really because they they literally copy stuff. That's there was it. something else we'll get to later that yeah. was another. Oh yeah, blatant yeah. copy. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but yeah, uh, it's just the, like the absolution and the riot squad. This where they have the triple threat match: two faces against, or a face against the team. team of heels. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, Alexa ends up winning. She hits Bailey with a uh, DDT. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, she's so, in yeah. the Money in the Bank match. It's true. Which yep. makes sense. Mm-hmm. But. Anyway. Uh, yep. And we go backstage, and Jinder is still being attended to in the trainer's room. And uh, I guess he he's cleared as long as he can handle the pain, right? Yeah. Which was weird because you figure that he would just say, oh, I can't. Do but that's kind of like a, a fa- you know, a baby face thing. You're in all this pain, and you're going to go through yeah, with the match, you I know? So. I mean, yeah. that's. Just... And then, you know, he's walking down the hallway, limping and all beaten up. Bam! Gets it's... speared through some cardboard or ply, uh, not plywood or sheetrock, whatever it was on yeah. the. Uh, by Roman. Yep, by by Mr. Reigns. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, um, Jinder will no longer be able to Compete. participate in the match, mm-hmm. and Kurt Angle is going to have to find a replacement. Yes. And he knows just the guy, right? Didn't he say that or something I, like I, that? You know what's funny? I have no idea where they announced who they replaced him with. I think it was right before the match. Because okay, I just know that he came out, and mm-hmm. I didn't know. Yeah. When it was announced or anything. Um, anyway, so up next we have... We have... Um, oh, that was weird. We have... Uh, Finn Balor and Braun Strowman versus uh, Drew McIntyre and Adolph Ziggler. Yeah. Um, well, we got something brewing between uh, McIntyre and uh, Braun. Well, yeah, because they're two big, scary guys. Oh, it's Vince is in his glory. Big, oily, sweaty men. True. Um, what are you doing? I have no idea. I hit I hit something and it messed up. I can't figure. It doesn't out if, matter. Yeah. No, I'm just I was trying to figure out what I did. Oh. Yeah. Mm. It, it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. Um. But yeah, the uh, Braun McIntyre. I I wouldn't be surprised at some point it's just Braun against the two of them because mm-hmm. Balor. Although I guess they're both in the Money in the Bank match, so they'll both be preoccupied for a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you, I don't know. There, any momentum Strowman had, they're just throwing him in tag matches now. He oh, hasn't, yeah, it's sad. I don't know what. Yeah, it's not good. Not good. I, I, and this is probably all Lesnar because they probably th- originally had storylines lined up where Lesnar was gone after Mania. Yeah, and it would be Roman against Braun again or something like that. Something. But they can't do that because. Right, and then they would have built up Lashley versus Lesnar separately and mm-hmm. had that happen at SummerSlam or whenever. And they could have then had a uh, uh, Braun versus Lashley that made more sense mm-hmm. than if right. they were to do it now. Yeah. Whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, somehow, uh, Dolph Ziggler actually pins... Uh, yeah, because uh, McIntyre was on the outside. Braun came running around, hit him with his shoulder tackle. Mm-hmm. Finn was going up top for the coup de gras on uh, Ziggler. Mm-hmm. Ziggler knocked him off the top rope and then rolled uh, Finn up for the win. Yeah. Um, makes sense. They're <coughs> well, the, they're, they're the underdogs. Right, so Finn they, and Braun don't, they don't need the win. Oh, uh, definitely not. No. So this was definitely yeah. a throw to no, get they, the match. Absolutely. And they, Th- if anything, this was... Uh, like, we really have nothing going on with these guys because they're already established, but we want to get them on the show. Right. And while it sucks, but Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler are basically just a team of, you know, high-profile mm-hmm. jobbers now. Pretty much. <clears throat> Until they do something with, <clears throat> with It's them, unfortunate which because Drew McIntyre is awesome, but... He has the look of a champion, that's mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But he's got a teammate of a loser. Well, you know... 
I mean, I would just... It's probably going to end with the two of them feuding. That's fine. That'll be good. Yeah. But Mac, I feel like McIntyre, he just looks like he's got to be a heel, you know? Oh, he looks angry. Yeah. That's for sure. Just got to bring Oni Lorcan up so they can have another match. That'd be good. <laughs> oh, That'd man. Be great. Uh, all right. So now we have our main event. We yes. have Elias versus Bobby Lashley versus Kevin mm-hmm. Owens. Uh, Kevin Owens obviously is replacing Jinder Mahal. Right. Like I said, I don't know when they announced it, but you it said happened. it was right before. I, I could have sworn it happened right before. Um, Elias, did he, he start it He tried to, but to he, got, he got interrupted Owens, by Bob. Right? Uh, maybe it was, it was Owens up. right away, yeah. Yeah. Or he started to, he started to play, and then mm-hmm. Owens music hit. hit. Right, yeah. And then Lashley came out. Right. Um, and then, yeah, halfway through the match, Elias has he, he, both... Uh, Bobby Lashley and Kevin Owens thrown out of the ring. So mm. at this point, he's, you know, the crowd was just eating it up. They loved it. Yeah. So all like, Jojo, oh. bring me my guitar. <laughs> so he tried to do it, and it didn't work out. Yeah, I think uh, Owens ran over and hit him. I think, yeah, something like that. Um, so we got uh, Sami Zayn. He decides to come out and interrupt. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, he takes out Bobby Lashley, allowing uh, Owens to have a frog splash on Elias. Mm-hmm. And Owens is going to Money in the Bank, which is great because there's nothing that goes better in the WWE Kevin than Owens. Kevin and Owens in a ladder uh, match. Yep. Because the man tries to kill himself every single time. Every time. So I look forward to this. Yes. Even more so than normal. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was. Uh, it's good to see that they're actually doing something with Kevin Owens. Because he was, he's been in limbo for about a year now. He was in a garbage uh, feud for so long, so yeah. that really didn't help him. Nah, not at all. But so we're good. Yep, I like it. Yep. All right, moving on to SmackDown. Yeah, I thought it was a better show than Raw. Yeah, yeah. but I then again, the whole it, but... two hours versus three hours things really does a lot for me. Yeah, and I missed a quarter, a quarter or an eighth of the show. Yeah, because I like a quarter to ten, my internet crapped yeah. out. So. Can't, you don't have an excuse like me falling asleep. Yeah, exactly. So mine was a technical issue. I guess so. Um, all right, so we open up SmackDown with Renee Young interviewing Daniel Bryan. Yep. Uh, uh, I guess talking about the loss to Rusev last week was his biggest setback since he's come back from uh, retirement, I guess. Yeah, well, I guess coming back would probably yeah, be I guess the, that's true. a simpler way of putting that. <laughs> um, so... At that point, Big Cass comes out, and he goes, wait a second, I'm the biggest setback. See, the th- problem with this whole thing is that, you know, I guess this is supposed to put more heat on Cass. Yes, it is. But it got no reaction. No, the crowd and, didn't care. you know, if you go by the Roman rule, which any reaction is a good reaction, no reaction is obviously bad. That is correct. Yes. That's usually so, how it goes cast getting no reaction yeah. the crowd was like are you guys kidding me this is not the crap we want to see mm-hmm. so although let's just stand here and wait for it to be over eventually he'll show his, himself out yeah um anyway uh, cast like, basically not agreeing with me no i yeah i agree oh, okay. i'm just saying let's move forward because <laughs> we've already, there's, there's we've no already point. talked enough <laughs> about stupid nonsense so but that's my specialty i guess that's true yeah come on so but yeah, Cass tries to go and say that he has been Daniel Bryan's big setback. He's the reason why he didn't win the Greatest Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he does stuff where he was doing the yes chant. Which I, I don't remember exactly what he was saying. I don't but. know why they had to do the whole segment last week. Or it was last week, the week before. Whenever he did it, beating up the the uh, impersonator of Daniel Bryan. Why couldn't he have just come out and Because said, Vince thought it would be funny. I guess that's that true, but then the apparently he got heat because he because like, he yeah, beat him up too much. too much. But I mean, he could have just went out about throwing, costing him the greatest Royal Rumble, and that's it. Again, I, I know, I know, it would be funny. I know, it's just there, there, there's no rhyme or reason. <sighs> Damn, senile old man. Well, but that's the thing, though. You can't think of this like know, like I... what how we would do it or how it should be done. It's just what they do, and we react to it. I guess that's true. With, with scratching heads and frustrated moans <laughs> and, you know, puzzled looks, all that stuff. Sometimes anger or disbelief. Oh, there's a lot of like disbelief. that time when Brock Lesnar lost in a minute and 16 <laughs> seconds to a 50-year-old man. That did happen. So. Didn't expect that one. No. But I do like the element of surprise. That's true. I, I, I enjoyed having that reaction. I did. But <laughs> all right, well, well that's 
Weird. doesn't really change the fact that it's... It's true. Uh, yeah. It's true. Anyway, um, so Dave Bryan kind of gets fed up of, with uh, Big Cash's yeah. antics. Like, I think what he ended it by saying that uh, Bree is now going to have to wear the pants in the, the yeah. house or something he, he like that. He should have stayed retired. And right. He should have let Bree wear Work. the pants. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. Um, so at this point, Danny Bryan loses it, mm-hmm. starts beating up Cash, puts him in some kind of leg lock or whatever, trying to re-injure Big Cass's knee, and eventually he gets broken up and uh, Cash limps away. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. And then All we right. had the uh, New Day versus The Bar. Yeah. Uh, the winner of this, I guess the winning team, got to choose a, uh, one of the members to be a participant in the men's Money in the Bank match. Yeah. Uh, we had The Miz on commentary for this, I mm-hmm. guess just because he qualified for the Money yeah, in the Bank I match. Yeah, I guess that would be the only reason. Um, they put on a good match, which isn't us a shocker yeah. here. Um, the Miz was actually putting over the New Day the entire time. I don't know yes, how much you yeah. were paying attention. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. He, yeah. But oh, he, no, he, he put over Cesaro as well. I, yeah. I know, but he was talking about... Because he, like, he was really... Like hammering it in, like Xavier Woods is the MVP of the New Day. If... Because they're probably gonna break them up. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, well, it's it's unfortunate, but at this point in time, the tag team division's well, a joke. So, oh, well, there is truth to that, and <sighs> you now have more tag teams where obviously one of them is not going to be showcased, mm. but this is gonna create a problem. Now you have three singles guys, you know. Well, um, Big E really can. Well, let me rephrase that. Big E will be the big title guy um xavier will probably be in a lot of like interesting feuds mm-hmm. and kofi is just going to be in Hanging good out. matches he hasn't wrestled in like three weeks on he might be hurt. smackdown well, like, obviously i have no way of knowing this for sure but the fact that he has, he, yeah. he xavier wrestled those two matches and we assumed it was going to be kofi and right. Biggie this week mm-hmm. so that it very well could just be that he is hurt it's, it's that's possible. the reason why they did it like that <clears throat> Because it could have been it was supposed to be Kofi the first night, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. he was hurt, so Xavier took his spot or whatever. I don't know. <clears throat> can only speculate on so much. Because theoretically speaking, Kofi's really kind of smaller than Xavier because Xavier's very muscular, whereas Kofi's kind of tiny. Or I guess, but it's thin. Kofi's taller as well. Slightly taller, I think. Yeah. So, either way. Sure. Not important. Whatever. Um, anyway. Yeah, uh, Seamus was standing on the apron. Biggie spears him off, obviously almost hitting his head on the announce table. Of course. Uh, Cesaro's laying in the ring, uh, and then Xavier Woods hits his like a springboard elbow drop, and yep. uh, the New Day pick up the victory. Yes. But so. we do not know which member of the New Day is going to the Money in the Bank, even though we expect it to be Big E. Yeah. You no, know, that'd be cool. Like, they did a triple threat match with the three of them to determine who did it. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be a good match. I like that. Yeah. No, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. What they would probably do is have like a rock, paper, scissors thing, that sounds about and just right. do it in the ring and or have flip like the a, pancake, yeah, and have <laughs> a referee involved in everything. Yeah, it, they'll they'll come up with some creative shenanigans, but yeah. yeah. And we got the Bludgeon Brothers talking about you know just running down the other teams. Yeah, I, making I guess fun that's of what the happened. Bald guys yeah. making fun of the criminals. Yeah. Yeah. That's how uh, we include the tag team division on SmackDown. so bad. I don't get it. Whatever. Um, then we have Paige backstage. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville come over, and Mandy's like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm in the Money in the Bank yep. match. And Paige goes, you're not. I was like, what do you mean? I beat Becky last week. So it wasn't a qualifying match. Yeah. <laughs> but you do have a qualifying mm-hmm. match. And then Sonya's She's, like, well, I don't get one. She's like, oh, you do too. Yeah. And then they, so Mandy goes, who's my opponent? He says, Becky Lynch. And then Sonya goes, who's my opponent? And he goes, Becky Lynch. Oh, so it's going to be a handicap match, two on one. No, no, no. It's going to be a triple threat. Mm-hmm. And then they look not too happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was what we were referring to earlier with the two matches being pretty much the same yep. exact thing. Yep. Um, um, but, but, but yeah. I, yeah, I guess that's what their plan is, like splitting everybody up. Well... There's really no guarantee they're going to split the two of them up. It's true, like, but yeah, because during the match there was some tension, right? but not even that's tension, just but they, competition. Yeah, it's, that's all it is. So it could be back to the old ways. Yeah, but next week. it's just now they're, you know, being so different. It's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, completely opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah, um, it would be like if they split up the Riot Squad. 
Yeah, yeah they're well, completely yeah. different. Yeah, like, yeah. that was just close. thrown together. Yeah, although they do work well together, like you said. Mm-hmm. So, um, next we have an interview backstage with uh, with Renee interviewing AJ. Mm-hmm. Um, AJ says it really doesn't matter what the stipulation is. I'm gonna win. Yep, forearm to the face. Right? Yep. So mm-hmm. he basically just stole Shinsuke's knee to face. That's it. So then, dumb. then we got the debut of Andrade Cien Almas. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess he squashed a uh, local talent there. Right, yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah, because obviously the crowd was, you know, kind of behind the jobber. Yeah, well, that's usually how it goes <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> well, it's so weird to have him debut in, you know, a place where you're going to use local talent in, you know, another country. And, and usually the local talent in the outside com- uh, c- countries get mm-hmm. a good reaction. Yeah. It happened in Canada, too, didn't it, yeah, recently? It did. Yeah, I don't remember who it was It was, was like for. Pierre and John Paul or something like that. Oh, yes, versus the, it was versus the uh, yeah, Authors of Pain. Pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, they just don't know what they're doing. Um, so he wins, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Zelina drops a promo. Yep. And they said they're going to take SmackDown by storm. Mm-hmm. That sounds an awful lot like something that happened on Raw. Yeah. With uh, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre saying Well, I think they both up. said that they were going to put the locker room on notice, yeah. right? Yeah. This is yeah. so dumb. This is like, yep. w- mm-hmm. Why would they do that? Because obviously people are going to watch both shows. Like, th- there's no... Re- it's not real competition like with WCW. There was actually talk, I don't know the validity of it, uh-huh. but they were talking about when, if uh, WWE gets picked up by another network, that they'll have both shows on different networks. That's fine, too. Yeah. It so wouldn't then, make a difference, though. No, I know, but I mean, that would be more of a competition or something like that. That's dumb. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. It was just something I read. I didn't really read too yeah, far that's, into that's it. That's still but... not competition. No, I know. It's just... Because I think, I think Raw and SmackDown used to be on different networks. Yeah, yeah, they were on yeah, uh, UPN. Raw, yeah, SmackDown was on yeah, UPN. UPN. Mm-hmm. Raw was still on Spike, yeah, I guess. Probably. Or whatever it was yeah, called. Yeah, and then it was time. on uh, WPIX, right, or whatever. It was on Channel 11 at I one don't point. remember. I could have sworn. That I don't could, know. That they... could have been when SmackDown was like on Fridays Friday or night, something. Yeah. And then you um, had ECW on Sci-Fi. Yep, <laughs> yep. But that, I think, is a sister network of uh, USA. Probably. Yeah, I would imagine so. so. Or, or, or like, uh, USA is a parent network yep. of mm-hmm. it, or it's all under NBC. Yeah, I think that, the umbrella. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, that's it. All repeat stuff. Pretty much. That's basically what we're getting at. Yes. Um, then we have backstage, mm-hmm. something that's actually moving in the right direction. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy they decided to well, do something let's, like... Well, let's they, not... They... They seem to be doing something. I think that so. Makes I more think sense. there was backlash. And like, it's what other role are you going to put Aiden English in? Let's be completely honest here. He he's in his perfect role right now. So Why can't you just there. have two cheerleaders for Rusev? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and and what they did was good. I <laughs> hope they do it because that oh, would be great. That would be good because that's that's great SmackDown TV for at least six months. That's true. Um, because you got Aiden. Mm-hmm boasting about it right and then you got the two of them walking around like they own the place mm-hmm. it'd be great so i guess when aiden had prepared a meal right for rusev well he also s- is preparing a, a new song. song right but he had prepared a meal for his victory over daniel bryan mm-hmm. last week yes because obviously you're going to celebrate something a whole week later absolutely <laughs> um and then Lana interrupts yes. and said that she has a qualifying match next week against Billy Kay. Mm-hmm. And that, a match that she has a legitimate chance of winning. Yeah, that is true. Which is scary. That is very true. Yeah. And uh, that they will be Mr. and Mrs. Money in the Bank. And again, I really hope they do that. Because they are fan- not going I know. I said I hope. thousand percent. I said I hope. <laughs> now, there's a chance Rusev could win. Oh, I, yeah. She won't, but he could. It'd be great if he did. Look, man. Aiden English is going to climb the ladder and grab her the briefcase. That's fine. I, I I didn't really have much of a problem with it last year. I know a lot of people did. So I could live with that. It would be funny. The, the fact that they redid it over last year made it so much worse. Because they did it twice the same way. Pretty much. It was more Basically, or less the same way. Oh, jeez. And then this year we got Carmella beating Charlotte Clean. So, yep. you know. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Speaking of Carmella. Yes. We had the Royal Melibration mm-hmm. where they had some old dude in, uh, introduce her. Yep. 
And then they had like uh, the Queen's Guard like holding the title. <laughs> and it was just, just. It was exactly what we expected. Yeah. Um, and then Carmella, you know, ran down the L- London and England and everything. Yeah. And then she talked about how she was so much better than all the current superstars. And then that she was twice as good as Lita and Trish Stratus. And then. I guess Paige came out and said, well, you want me to tell your opponent for Money in the Bank? She's like, I'm not wrestling at Money in the Bank. I don't have to defend my title. And then uh, she brings out Asuka yeah. as her opponent, which I was kind of like, really? Already? Yeah. Well, because it doesn't make any sense because you kind of want to... Well, in all fairness, how long does Carmella really need? No, it's true. But title? And again, we talked about this. Faces, heels. Mm-hmm. There's really that's really it. There's 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 no heel that really matches up. With no, this. and I mean you already gave us a a ridiculous outcome at Backlash mm-hmm. when Carmella, Carmella beat, beat Charlotte, Charlotte clean. Yeah, I mean, are we gonna see her beat Oscar? Oh, no, can't. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. You guess watch. That's true. <laughs> um. Anyway, so we both actually kind of thought it was gonna be Naomi because uh, of yep. the fact that she won that battle royal. Well, um, <laughs> I know, I know. We sh- the battle royals apparently traditionally don't really mm-hmm. mean anything. Oh, um, we forgot to talk about the um, greatest Royal Rumble trophy being broken on Raw. Oh, yeah, it got destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was after the shoulder tackle that Braun hit. Uh, yeah, it was McIntyre with. Yeah, it was on the outside, and mm-hmm. like Braun ran into somebody, and it, like, in the ensuing carnage, yep. destroyed the trophy. Yeah. But that doesn't matter. They nope. don't care about that thing anyway. Like that belt that they made, it's gone. I think maybe Braun lost it. That's the reason why. <laughs> Got confiscated in customs. Yeah. So, um, uh, anyway. Yeah. We thought it might be Naomi. Whatever. Um, it was Asuka. Asuka, I guess, should win. Because Carmella doesn't actually have any, like, like yes, Billy Kay and Peter Rice helped against Charlotte. Right. But I think that was more to do with Charlotte than it was to do with Carmella. Right. So, anyway. Uh, Whatever. Up next, we got Renee interviewing Shinsuke. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, he starts playing off the no speak English. Well, so but, that's what I thought at but first, he, but that's she's, not what he Right, because she said uh, probably and certainly, and he's yeah. like, no, no, no. So, those, those definitely. Yes. I'm definitely going to win tonight. And mm-hmm. then at Money in the Bank. Yep. Would need to face over and over again. Yes. Um, so what stipulation do you think they're going to pick? Um, well, you said that Shinsuke won. Yes. Correct. I know we're skipping ahead, but I actually didn't know for sure until mm-hmm. just now. Um, so uh, it's hard to say because like a cage match. Well, they joked about it earlier when AJ well, was AJ made a ridiculous. Let me say uh, Inferno, Bull Rope, Hell in a Cell match. Yeah. And then Renee tried to play along too, mm-hmm. and it's just like, don't be ridiculous, Renee. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say, like, because nothing it makes sense. Sixty-minute low blow. Whoever hits the most low blows wins. That would make sense, actually. <laughs> um, a uh, cup on a pole match. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes confirmed that's yeah, the match there's really nothing that, is that makes good. any sense if vince russo was booking this we might have a cup on the pole match yeah. although it would make sense that he would write this story to begin with so that is true uh, but yeah yep we'll find out probably next week mm-hmm. or something and we had a <sighs> woman's qualifying match with becky versus mandy versus sonia mm-hmm. so uh, this was basically a replay of the raw match mm-hmm. um the heels worked together at first and then they end up what inadvert oh no no so, uh, Mandy tried to pin Sonya Deville and that's when they started fighting and, each and other and then it started to become more frequent towards yep. the end of the match. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, obviously the match wasn't as good as the match on Raw just because just the timing just it seemed off between the uh, the heels and Becky. Yeah, it's true. Well, Becky's trying to move a lot faster than mm-hmm. those two. Yeah, I'll tell you what though, Mandy Rose has a great finishing move. Yeah, it is because cool. she's so strong. That she's actually able to hold them up for a... She had Becky up for a long time. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. And then um, at that point, uh, Sonya runs over and breaks up the pin, mm-hmm. obviously. Yeah, and, would uh, uh, Sonya thrown out of the ring, right? And then 
Becky ends up putting Mandy in the uh, disarmor. Yes, and Mandy taps out pretty pretty quickly. That's it. Not a surprise. <laughs> nope. Um, because I don't think Mandy or Sonya really have that much momentum anyway. No. I mean, <sighs> we still have spots left. There's still a possibility one of them get in. I guess just because of the limited roster mm-hmm. on SmackDown. That would make sense. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't be entirely surprised if they do like Sasha Bailey and... Um, like Natalia in a yeah. match to figure out like they have five from Raw and three from oh, SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. That's true because of the fact that there's just not enough like worthy people on SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, a little heavy at the top, I guess. Yeah, but what are you gonna or do? Or down low, I should say. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Technically. Yeah. Um. All right. Then, so then we get the well Samoa Joe. Uh, I guess talking bad about Cass. Yeah, uh, cuz he says that he's their in match. His, yeah. He's for, in his way to his goal of winning money in the mm-hmm. bank. Um but yeah, so this is a heel versus heel match. Mm-hmm. Um and then technically I, I guess is Lana a face or is she oh, a absolutely. heel? Uh because hmm. Aiden English is a heel, Rusev's a tweener. I don't know how they classify that's a, that's Lana. That's a good question. Yeah. Because was, Billy Kay is heel. obviously a heel. Yeah, and she was a heel. Mm-hmm. It's a good question. Not that it has any bearing on no, anything. But, you know, with the because Lana seemed very, like, happy. Yeah, and everybody was happy to see her. Well, yeah, obviously. She's, she's very popular. She's not, a, she's not a great wrestler. That's what it is. And she hasn't wrestled in quite some time. That's true. She could have gotten better. She, cause she's she, been I, off TV for a while. Yeah, I don't think she's actually wrestled at all since the Rumble. Yeah, probably. So, or at least not on TV. Oh, well, she was in the battle. Was she in the battle royal? I would assume so. Maybe, at Mania, but that really. But that is, doesn't mean anything. No, that's not. Well, granted, the Royal Rumble is pretty much the same thing. Well, just for she, a I'm longer sure period she had of time. A, I was gonna say, I'm sure she did more in that. That's thing. true, but most people did. So yeah. So, um, um, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, up next, we had an Iconics phone promo. Which was basically them hyping the women's match between Billy Kay and Lana. That we were just week. talking yes. about, yeah. Um, and, and those both. two are actually quite funny. Yeah, yeah, they do a good job. Yeah. And they, well, because it's, it's like stupid humor, and yeah. that's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, well, because it, it makes sense. They're kind of immature, right. like yeah. a high school-esque like humor and yeah. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it 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 it, it, it works. actually makes sense. It does, um, and everybody else gets a kick out of them doing it, mm-hmm. like Charlotte. That's yeah. my favorite her reaction. Yeah, and that brings us to the main event. Yes, AJ AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. AJ Nakamura. Huh? I almost said that. Yeah. <laughs> um, like I felt that I was like, holy crap, we're getting another match between uh, these guys. When they announced it on Monday, I'm like, why? Like, wow, they're really beating a dead horse here. And then I was like, hey, you know, during the match, you're like, okay, these guys can obviously work well together. Well, so. we knew that. Yeah, it's no, I know. But team. I mean, it's the, like, really, we're getting this again? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's WWE's trademark, giving well, you the same matches over and over. Their their big thing was that this was the first time it was on SmackDown, Smackdown right. which makes no sense because it's like the... Like the worst place you could put it. Mm. Um, yes, but uh, but yeah, like I said, I missed mm-hmm. like the entire match. Yeah, I mean, obviously back and forth for the most part. Um, AJ went for a phenomenal forearm. I think Shinsuke rolled out of the way. AJ almost took out the ref. AJ is apologizing to the ref. I guess the ref was kind of turned around at this point uh-huh. and distracted, and he turns around and Shinsuke's on the ground holding his groin area. Like, AJ low blowed him, so the ref was like, wait a second, I know what just happened here. And AJ was pleading his case. At this point, uh, Shinsuke hits an exploder on AJ, and then a Kinshasa, and he wins. So he gets to pick the stipulation at Money in the Bank. Uh, who knows what he could possibly choose. I still like the uh, cup on a pole match. Yeah, why not? It's something. It's a, yeah. So At least make it interesting here. Yeah. Well, yeah, it... it it shouldn't it, be like it'll probably a, be a last man standing match. Probably because of the way the last match ended. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah, you didn't really it, need to do this to do that. Though. Could Paige could have been like, "All right, I'll try again." Yeah. <laughs> the last one didn't work. Let's do it this yeah. way. I don't know why they're dragging out the feud so long. Um, I would say because they had other plans, but there's no obvious other plans. There's nobody next in uh, line unless they weird. were gonna push Rusev, but they chickened out. 
Which is possible, because that would have made sense. I don't know. Um, but yeah, whatever. Or there's something brewing with Daniel Bryan that we don't know. Yeah, but Shinsuke would make more sense for an opponent. I, I know, I know. Yeah, so I don't know if, if they switched was, endings, you know, who knows? I was going to say, if that was the case, they could have just very easily had Nakamura win the first match. Yeah. And had one rematch at the Grass Royal Rumble, and then at right. Backlash, you have Daniel Bryan face Shinsuke already. Yeah, but that'll probably, he'll probably get his title match down the line. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, if you really wanted to do that, you could have It's true. I don't know. It. I don't know. Whatever. Yep, pretty much. So uh, that was our WWE Week in Review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.